Caddis Maxims here, this time with another tool brand that I haven't reviewed before. This is a Hapway, and, or Hapeway, and it's actually kind of a play because the name is uh, Harry P. Will was kind of the originator of the company, but he didn't have uh, much association with it. In a second here, I'll show you what history I was able to dig up. But I saw these, saw it was Hapway, but even though it's a little funky, I saw, oh, that's West Germany. And finding West German tools isn't super common especially ones <laughs> that are in this condition. These are, as far as I can tell, even looking at the condition of the, the teeth here. Come on, camera. These are effectively brand new. So in Europe, I've learned that these are known as combination pliers or known as combi pliers. And the reason they're called that is because they're kind of a cross between traditional American slip joint pliers like these and linesman pliers like these. As we can see, these don't have a slip joint and they have kind of a nose that's just saying between a linesman's pliers. Linesman's pliers, they have a little gap for twisting wire. But then they have the center section with the teeth in it for gripping, you know, oddball stuff, fasteners, like slip joint pliers have. And in this case, what we have is we have a couple shear base cutters on each side, as well as the center of the jaw, we can actually see that actually is a bypass cutter there. Had to grab some stuff. So these types of bypass cutters, they're, you know, relatively decent. They are similar to that also of slip joint pliers where they have some bypass cutters. Those cutters aren't going to be as heavy duty as cutters such as on linesman's pliers. So you're not going to do things like cut box wrenches in half. But for general cutting duties, we do have a paper clip. <laughs> Not the heaviest duty object. But it'll cut a paper clip just fine. And other general wire, tie wire, that type of stuff. What's also nice is actually having these bypass or these side cutting channels. The reason for that is, is if you're doing things like cutting wire and maybe it might be a bit hard wire, Instead of damaging your longer cutter here, you actually have these cutters on the side, so you use those. And if you do damage them, you haven't damaged the primary cutter, and you have an extra one. So it is pretty intelligent. A decent, hot, riveted design. Do like how they did grind the sides of the jaws after manufacture, so they line up absolutely perfectly. Really pretty symmetrical. We can see that here, or the evenness on the ends of the jaws there. Pretty good evenness on the teeth. Overall, pretty well made. Rivets just a little bit stiff because these, are, of course, are brand new. I did put some oil in there, but of course, they'll loosen up over use. And I just kind of like these because they have a narrow jaw. Um, once again, like slip joints, you know, versus linesman's pliers, which have, tend to have really wide jaws. So these will get into other kind of, you know, tighter spaces. And in the United States, it's actually these style pliers, com European style combi pliers, just aren't very very common. It's always pliers like these or pliers like these, as far as regular old pliers. So it's kind of nice to run into these. And let me show you a little bit of history that I was able to dig up about Hapway. Interesting. So this was kind of started by this guy Harry P. Will, but what ended up happening? Um, is the fact that he immigrated to Toronto and actually started this company and then left it to uh, his business partner. And kind of a long story short, uh, ended up going insolvent in the early 2000s. And then Nipex, by way of Orbis, ended up acquiring the remaining assets. So this company can be traced right through Nipex of today. So there's the odd history of these pliers. They have the name of somebody who founded the business, but apparently uh, just never really had any involvement and ended up actually uh, leaving Germany, which, you know, kind of seems strange. Anyway, just wanted to make a little video about a relatively rare uh, West German combination pliers. And I don't know where these may have originated from. It's possible that, like, Porsches, VWs, or BMWs may have had some of these pliers in with their toolkits. Many German, and even American, many auto manufacturers through the 60s and 70s included little toolkits uh, with the vehicles. And so that may have been where these originated from. All I can say is for just a general set of small 
Looks like six inch combination pliers, then maybe seven inch. No, it looks like they're six inch or a little bit longer, six and a quarter inch, whatever that translates into uh, centimeters. Just think they're a neat set of uh, pliers. I'm glad to add them to my collection because these types of what's known as European combi pliers are just not very common, and I only have a couple sets like this, so I was pretty stoked to find these, um, especially old West German ones. Obviously, the unification of Germany happened in 1990, so these were manufactured uh, well before then. And, of course, to find a set that was effectively brand new. Anyway, really appreciate everybody who's been watching and subscribing, and if you haven't subscribed, please do. Till next time, Caddis Maximus out.